Hi everybody, Anne here from Simple Wood Turning Tools. I've had some questions regarding what the Simple Scraper can be used for, so I thought it would be helpful to show what I've used the Simple Scraper for. This tool is really beneficial in shaping and finishing nearly every project from large to small. To start, here I'm turning a wood resin hybrid piece and I'm using the Simple Scraper with a negative break oval cutter. It's helping me smooth out the tool marks left behind from roughing. This wide cutter is really helping me turn the top flat on this small stand. You can see that the negative break grind on the oval cutter is working well in both the wood and resin sections on this project. Here I've got the Simple Scraper 1 with rectangle cutter in the long 17 inch foam grip handle. Some have asked about how to hold this tool, and you'll see that I like to change up my grip. This really comes down to personal preference. This is the bottom piece of a wood birdhouse that I turned, and I'm using the simple scraper to make light cuts and shave off the pesky tear out that I was getting, along with smoothing out the outside profile. Here's a small resin wood hybrid project where again I'm using the negative rake oval cutter in the simple scraper. Using the flat part of the cutter, I'm able to clean up the profile shape and remove waves and tool marks. Then I can move up the edge of the underside of the lip and create that final curve that I was looking for. This piece had some tear out. Here I'm using the oval cutter in the Simple Scraper 1 to do my final shaping and make light cuts to smooth out the tear out on this project as much as I can. The negative rake oval cutter is less aggressive and allows you to make fine cuts which would also work really well in a situation like this one. This fun goblet began as a spindle turning from a large branch off of a cherry tree. I'm using the simple scraper with the oval cutter to define the profile while making final shaping passes and also removing any leftover tool marks. This piece had grain going in several directions, so it was a bit interesting. I wasn't real happy with the finish, so I switched over to the negative break oval cutter to make less aggressive, finer cuts and be able to remove more of the fine fibers and hopefully reduce my sanding. I heard someone say that this tool seems too large to turn pens or pencils, but it's really helpful for these small project, projects as well. This is Inlace Acrolector, which I found can chip really easily. I'm turning this profile down and doing my shaping all with the simple scraper with the negative rake oval cutter. I can use the rounded edges to do the shaping and then make wide final passes to make the straight sections. I shaped and finished this entire pencil using this tool. And finally, this earring holder project featured a long straight section and some curved profile. The oval cutter helps me transition the straight section into the curves and also straighten my line. I'm able to clean up my profile, straighten the line all the way up the side, and smooth out any rough sections. Across the top of this piece, I'm able to create a flat bottom for a tray and then transition into the curve. You could certainly use a rectangle cutter here instead and make a sharp corner instead of the curve that I've got going.